Welcome back. I'm Cody, the Rad Retro Dad, here with... The Rad Retro Son. The Rad Retro Son. And you know how we do it here. We're very laid back. We're not very professional. We don't have all the cool equipment. But I'll tell you what we do do. We talk about the cool stuff. Yes, we do. And we got something really cool planned today. We're going to talk about the Commodore 64. What's so cool about the Commodore 64, you might ask? Well, let's find out. Come on. All right, guys, today we're going to be talking about the Commodore 64. Yeah, the Commodore 64. So if you haven't heard, Commodore, the brand Commodore, was purchased by a YouTube channel called Retro Recipes. And they since changed their names to Retro Recipes X Commodore 64. X! And we all know what X means, right? Times. We all know what X means, right? Extreme. We all know what X means, right? X? X? No, it means extreme! We all know what X means, right? It means extreme! <laughs> I don't know if that's what they meant it to be. I don't think that they meant the X to be extreme. I think they meant to be like retro recipes plus Commodore 64. But we all know, when you put an X in it, it makes everything extreme! So, extreme. in this case, it really does. Mean extreme! They're coming out with three new versions of the Commodore 64. But if you are, are like, only three, there's a fourth one! There is! Yeah. There's a fourth one! But it's not really a Commodore 64. We'll talk about it. Let's jump on the computer, pull up their website, and let's go over this thing. Yar! Extreme! Extreme! All right, guys. I've got the Commodore website pulled up. It's Commodore.net. As always, I will leave a link in the description. So everything I talk about, I always leave links in the descriptions. All right, so let's, let's talk about this. The official name of this new Commodore 64 version, Commodore 64 Ultimate. It comes in three different flavors here. We got the Basic Beige, we've got the Starlight Edition, and then we got the Founders Edition. And the Founders Edition is kind of a special limited edition. So we'll pull it up right now and we'll take a look. It's got the steepest price tag at about $500. And, oh, let me mention, right now, they're, they're running a sell uh, because it's, it doesn't release, it doesn't start shipping, I should say, until October. So, you, you this is kind of a pre-order situation. And uh, right now, they as of the time I've been recording this, they have Commodore 64 Ultimate Founders Edition still left. And they're running a sell right now for pre-orders. Uh, it's $4.99. After the, after the pre-order is over, it's going to be $5.49 if there's any left. This one right here is limited to 6,400 units. I think that's pretty clever. <laughs> Limiting it to 6,400. <laughs> so let's talk about kind of what makes this system pretty cool. It officially will play over 10,000 original games and you can load them on via a USB or you can use your old cartridges your old data cassettes um, and you can hook up like disk drives to it pretty much any peripheral that the original Commodore 64 had you can hook it up to this and use it 
and use your old games that you may have still laying around in a box. That's pretty cool. The other thing is, is they sell a cable that will allow you to hook it up to a CRT TV via RCA or S-Video to kind of give you that really old school nostalgic feel of how it was when it originally released. The other thing is, did add in some, some quality of life stuff. Like they added an HDMI port. They added more RAM so it runs faster, loads things um, faster, loads your games faster. And uh, they added some USB ports and different things like that. So you can you can hook up newer devices that they're going to come out with for it. One thing I like is that these guys are like true Commodore fans. They, they're not doing this just to like as a cash grab. They really are adding in all the bells and whistles to this new machine. And, you know, that's what you get when you have like fans that are creating these products. It's kind of like a passion project for them. And so they're going to come out with some cool stuff. And I'm sure we're going to see new Commodore systems as well as the original Commodore 64. I just think that they had to release this one first. And so they immediately got on it. This version is a limited run gold founders edition. And it has gold LEDs in it. Uh, the buttons are like a satin gold color. All right, so let's look through some of these photos here. So the Commodore 64 logo is gold plated on this edition. 24 karat gold plated. The buttons are like a satin gold color. And it comes with the gold LED. So this thing is like golded out. This is like the Snoop Dogg version of the Commodore 64. <laughs> all right, let's look at some of these other pictures. So again, 24 karat gold on all these like little metal plate things that are on it. And then here's here's kind of a close up of this like white gold satin gold color on the keyboard. I'm sure it's going to look better in person than it does on these pictures. And here's kind of an inside look of what it looks like. I don't know. The back of the unit here has your HDMI. You got your your uh, USB. It's got a, a, a Ethernet cable port, but it also features Wi-Fi as well. Um, then you got your your old video ports here, etc. Um, this right here. They sell an, an adapter that hooks onto it that you can hook up all kinds of different peripherals. So, kind of really cool. And then here is your serial number sticker, and they're all numbered 1 to 6400 for this gold edition Commodore 64, which I thought was pretty cool. Okay, and then you can also you can hook up all your old Commodore 64 controllers to it as well. And you got your power power cable port right there. And then this is just a quick look at what the, the menu screen looks like when you boot it up. And as you can see, it says Commodore 64 Ultimate right up there. So you have kind of a file browser to make it a little bit easier to load your games and, and programs and stuff. It doesn't only do just the games. It also plays any programs that were made for the Commodore 64. So this is really cool. I think this is this is pretty awesome. So let's look at the other versions here. So we've got the uh, Starlight Edition, which I know it's not as rare as the uh, the Gold Edition, but I think that this is kind of cool. Let me show you the video here. I think this is a cooler version. It's an it's a RGB version <laughs> of it. And I think that's cooler than the gold version, personally. But the gold version is limited, so it's going to be more collectible. And again, this features all the same 
same uh, uh, features as the original, only it doesn't, it, it'll just have a random serial number. They're not numbered. They're not, this is not a limited. This is one that they're just going to offer. And then if you want to go truly old school, you can get the basic beige version. And this is basically just, it's a, a replica of the original. Just looks exactly like that, which I think is pretty cool. Let's, let's just kind of like zoom through the pictures here. You got your, your colored um, logo plate there. You got your black buttons. And then over here, you can see you got the beige buttons on the side. Really cool. And again, same. Here's the look at the inside. You got your brand. They got branding on the board in the inside. I think this is really cool. A lot of attention to detail here. And then the same, same boot up menu. So those are the three main consoles that they're selling. But there is a fourth one, which I think is kind of cool. It's not a Commodore 64. It just looks like one. It is a Commodore 64 home computer, Windows machine. But you can have, you can buy this with um, Windows 11, Linux, or the Commodore OS version 3 on here. So you have your choice of operating system on this this uh, version of the Commodore 64 PC. And I think it's cool. They'll like pre-install Windows 11 or they'll pre-install Linux for you on it. That's pretty cool. Or the Commodore 64 or the Commodore OS version 3. Point one. I don't really know a whole lot about that, but um, it also will um, have options from Intel N100 up to a powerful Ryzen 9 with Radeon graphics. So you could like use this for, you know, not like top of the line gaming, but you could use this for some pretty serious gaming. Um, probably right up there, probably a little bit better than like the Steam Deck, um, which I think is pretty cool. And if you if you have the uh, the Ryzen nine Radeon graphics coupled with Linux, Linux runs your games far better than uh, a Windows machine does. Um, they there's just a lot of like trickery going on in the background that that just make it better in my opinion. So if you're if you haven't tried gaming on Linux, now's a really good time to get into that. All right, the last thing that we're going to, well, the last couple things we're going to talk about is that they're also selling a controller. You got the the old school arcade controller with the with two arcade buttons on there. And it goes for $39.99. And it's just your basic controller, plugs in, I want to say this is, yeah, it plugs into your uh, your your controller port, so it's like kind of like the original. And here they show a beige version as well. So we got we got red, we got black, we got clear, and we have beige. Pretty cool. <clears throat> okay, and then if you scroll down, they got some other stuff here. They've got like a 24 karat gold plated dog tag necklace. But I think out of all of the products they have, this mug right here is pretty cool. It's got the old school Commodore 64 logo with their rainbow stripe going all the way around the mug. I don't know. I'm a mug guy. We, we like mugs in my house. We're, um, so this is kind of cool. I think that's a pretty cool little uh, little mug. They also offer other things like t-shirts, hoodies. They got another mug here, but I think the I think the rainbow mug is better. Um, so you can go and get it. You can even get mouse pads, which I think would be kind of cool if you bought the the Commodore sixty four PC version with uh, Windows or Linux on it. 
to get one of these Commodore 64 mouse pads to sit next to it. I mean, why not? That would be pretty cool. <clears throat> I'm a sucker for a trucker hat. So, I don't know. I may pick up one of these. I'm not sure. And then this is my favorite mouse pad right here. I think this one is the coolest. So check out Commodore 64. Check out uh, Retro Recipes um, YouTube channel. If you want to see like how they have a whole video showing how they, they went about purchasing Commodore 64 brand. So check it out. I'll leave a link in the, in the description of their channel. And uh, if you haven't seen my video on the Atari Pac-Man edition, check that out. I'm a sucker for a good Atari system. I grew up with an Atari 2600 being my very first video game console in my home. And to see a Pac-Man version of it, click right here somewhere and you'll be able to watch that video too. That's a hot one. That's a good one. And they've got some cool stuff for the Pac-Man 45th anniversary. Pretty awesome. So check that out. Leave some comments below. Let me know if you're going to buy this system. If you're going to buy the Commodore 64 Ultimate System. I want to know. And tell me what your favorite games are on here. My favorite game on here is Maniac Mansion. I love Maniac Mansion. One of the best kind of point-and-click adventure games, in my opinion. And uh, does some stuff that other adventure games don't like multiple characters that you can control and walk around. It's cool. And it's on the Commodore 64. So if you've never played Maniac Mansion, check it out. There's also an NES version of it as well. So until next time, as always, stay rad and stay retro.